Woohoo! Oh my gosh, speed boost! Hello, I'm Steve Backshaw, and this is my first look at the new BBC bite-sized game, Planet Planners, on Roblox. So uh, today I'm gonna get a chance to get involved in this 3D immersive game. I have the opportunity to help baby turtles, to train rescue dogs, and even to battle pollution. This is my avatar, kind of looks a little bit like me. Well, much younger version of me anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna head down. Kind of looks a little bit like the uh, BBC Studios. So these are our three metrics, economy, environment, and social health. I get a star for each metric if I reach 500 points and I stick to my budget. Okay, let's find a topic. Coasts, okay, there we go. Okay, so it, darkness has fallen. I need to find the turtle nest site. It's gonna be important that I don't have too much light because if I use a lot of light, then I'm gonna put the turtles off. Okay, so I can see some eggs there. So what we've got here is, I guess, an idea of what turtle nest sites would be like. These would be buried beneath the surface of the ground um, because turtles, they just, they just leave their eggs. And the amount of them that would survive in a natural situation, very, very few, maybe as, as few as one egg per nest is going to survive to adulthood, unless conservationists get involved. Waves have left seaweed and plastic waste on the beach, which doesn't look great on holiday photos. The tourists think the seaweed is an eyesore, but it's good for the beach ecosystem. This is a constant problem. You know, weed is washed up in certain conditions all the time on beaches. It would be an endless job to try and get rid of it. Um, and, you know, it, it's a, a breeding ground for aquatic invertebrates and all kinds of things that gulls like to feed on and other uh, wading birds like to feed on. So if you get rid of it all, then you're, you're getting rid of food for a whole bunch of very important animals. But we do need to clear up the plastic because that shouldn't be there and that is harmful for everyone. So I would leave the seaweed personally. And I've got a thumbs up for that. But the plastic waste had to go, agreed. Oh my gosh, there is a lot of plastic here. This is though what it's like on an awful lot of beaches around the world. You know, even places that don't see a lot of people, plastic is a global problem. Something that gets put into the sea here in the UK could be circling the planet for decades before it gets washed up on a beach on the other side of the world. Okay, I'm doing the world's fastest beach clean here. Cold drink, nice, could do with that. The be beach is beautiful and conditions are great for surfing. Should we encourage surfers or sunbathers? Build a surf center or add more beach beds? Um, as someone who loves surfing and can't stand just lying out in the sun, I've got to say, the, uh, the surfing bit is good for me. And you know, with surfing, all you really need is a surfboard of your own, or even sometimes you can just surf the waves without one. Um, so it can be a very, very low impact kind of tourism. Okay, that's a swell idea. Loving the uh, ocean-based puns. Let's get a new surf center built. Look at that, surf center out of nothing. Woohoo, done. Speed boost. You've earned boost, you can use this later. Should we provide lessons and kit for beginners? Um, I Yes, so. I mean, one of the important things about surfing is, is that some of it happens um, near coral reefs and you could potentially damage them if you didn't know what you were doing. Plus, surfing over a reef break can be proper dangerous. So actually, giving lessons for beginners, yeah, maybe that could protect the environment.
Lack of parking means some visitors to the beach are parking wherever they like. It's creating problems. We can create more car parks or set up bus routes to encourage people not to drive. What do you think? Uh, let's do the bus routes, shall we? This will encourage more people to use buses instead of driving, which will reduce traffic and is better for the environment. Join the construction team and get the bus stops built. Grab materials and construct the bus stops. That's better, the roads look clearer already and the birds are singing. Um, so at the moment my uh, social health is good, my environment is good, all I need to improve on is the economy. Uh, and I've got here, people taking beach shells is damaging the ecosystem, we need to do something. Um, I will help that now. Many creatures rely on shells for shelter or survival, so definitely things like like hermit crabs will move from one shell to another that's been uh, left behind by another animal. Removing too many shells can even affect how the shoreline erodes. How can we stop people taking shells? Well, you know, one of the main things with, with taking shells is that people just don't think about it. They think they're infinite, they think there's as many there as you could ever want to take. They can't see that there could be any damage from it. And just letting people know that it's a problem is enough. So I reckon that putting up signs could be all we need to do. So sand dunes are being damaged by human activity and erosion. This is this is a big problem. You know, sand dunes are fun. My kids love playing in them, but they are also really, really susceptible to being worn away and human erosion is probably more significant than the natural erosion nowadays. What to do about it, that is the big question, isn't it? So yes, it says that they are a habitat for wildlife, they're natural barriers for erosion and flooding, and they're also good for tourism and recreation. So we can lay down boardwalks, which enable people to move through the sand dunes and still enjoy them, um, or we can fence them off totally. Fencing them off totally is more efficient from an environmental perspective. So I'm not a massive fan of fences. I mean, in the modern conservation, you want to get rid of fences as much as you possibly can. Um, but as a temporary measure, that could enable the dunes to recover. Okay, we're back to nighttime again. And our eggs are ready to hatch. So the hatchlings making their way to the ocean. This is one of the most vulnerable times for the youngsters. Uh, let's see how all the decisions we've made have impacted those turtle numbers. Get ready for the final task. Count the baby turtles. And hopefully some of these turtles will come back to this beach one day. So turtles will return to the same beach where they were put down as eggs many, many years later when they are uh, an adult female. They will dig their own nests and give birth to their own babies on the same beach where they themselves were born. So, kind of not surprisingly, I have uh, scored really well on the environment. 
slightly less well on the economy and social health because I guess those tend to be uh, less of a priority for me as someone who is so focused on nature. Um, but you know, it's really interesting thinking about putting yourself into the mind of, of people that do have to balance all these things as as a way of uh, uh, of life. So yeah, it's a, it's a fantastic 3D environment. I do feel like I've been immersed in it and, and learnt an awful lot about it. So go play the new BBC Bite Size Planet Planners game now available on Roblox.